Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. Email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And along the same vein or along the same line or along the same frequency or vibe as the video I brought out four days ago, this video is going to be entitled Unified Energy Frequency Transmission. Unified Energy Frequency Transmission. So I'm going to start this video by saying, as you probably know, again, everything is energy, everything is frequency, everything is vibration. We are energy, frequency and vibration. And we are transmitters or transformers, transmuters of that energy, frequency and vibration. But we are also receivers of the energy, frequency and vibration. And many years ago, I think it was somewhere between three and five years ago, I brought out a video. I think I called it We Are Transformers on this channel. I don't think it's one of the videos that I weeded out and fine tuned. Um, I think it's up there somewhere, but I did bring one out called We Are Transformers. So we're not only transformers of um, our resident frequency or our resting state frequency, which can fluctuate, as you know, can go up, you know, can um, fluctuate um, or can stay reasonably balanced. But we are also transmitters. We're transmitters of it. We're transformers. We can transform these frequencies, but we are also receivers. And there is often that part of the circuit, if you like, that many of us forget that we are also receivers. And sometimes we are receiving that which we do not want to be receiving, picking up on the global signals and uh, decoding them. And sometimes we are receiving of course things that are very uh, wonderful for us beneficial for us um, in physical health spiritual health organic health you know and we are receiving um, energy back in whether that energy is in a form of money whether that's energy in reform uh, into the form of people around us whether that's energy in the form of like a replenishing energy from, say, for example, nature and connecting with the ocean, etc., etc. So by the very nature of what we are, we are energy transformers, we are energy receivers, and we align with particular frequencies, vibrations or codes and encodements within those frequencies and those transmissions, whether those tr transmissions are deliberate, whether they are positive transmissions, negative transmissions, intentional transmissions, unintentional transmissions towards us or from us, we respond to it. And how we align with these particular encodements very much depends on our belief systems and our own programming, but also depends on whether we have a pain body emotional component within us, or another way of putting it is whether we have our, our personal history, our own baggage that has affected our predominant resting state frequency and whether we've lumped that together and that has brought in um, a frequency or a distortion of our own frequency that we then align with. So we can align with frequencies uh, universally, universal archetypes of consciousness out there or programs, universal programs out there 
because we've inadvertently aligned them with our pain body or an emotional state that lunks into it. So it all adds up together, all creates like a little circuit really. So the reason I'm calling this a unified energy frequency transmission is because if we can accept and if you're happy with the concept of that we are transformers, we're receivers, we're transmitters, decoders of our reality often let's say like the accident accidentally like the accidental tourist you know stumbling along not realizing we're doing this but if you realize that this is what we do by the nature of what we are that our highest form to be the embodiment of our own transformation, our highest form of being a transformer, a transmitter and a receiver, is to be with the circuit, if you like, our inner circuit, completely lined up in a state of balance, and I could say in a state of inner unification or inner union with all aspects of the circuitry. That's masculine, feminine aspects of the circuitry, the superconscious, the unconscious, the subconscious, the conscious, um, all parts of us such as our child consciousness, our what they call inner child, um, merging with the personality, all coming up through the portal of the heart, not being done analytically, all coming up through the portal of the heart, so all that merging in, all the energy field in alignment, let's say taking the instructions from the zero point neutral unified etheric blueprints cosmic blueprints etheric blueprints soul blueprints that all those things being let's say online and in complete alignment and balance and in that zero point state within, let's call that the unified state. Let's call that the ultimate because it's you, me, humanity, making those choices, forming one's reality, living one's life, as online creationary consciousness in the infinite second, creating one's reality as one is going along, that interplay of life force and consciousness, mind, body, spirit and soul, all in alignment in a state of unification. Another word I could say here is again, you being the master of your own consciousness and able to have access to the entire purified neutral balanced zero point grid work, consciousness, having access to all the information, all the codes. That's what we have the potential to grow into, to come online inside ourselves to through the portal 
the organic, natural, yet supernatural in a way because it's our highest states of perception, portal of the heart, that's what we have the potential of being the embodiment of, that's what we have the potential of remembering because we have done this before a long time ago uh, it's not the first time round on earth this has happened the last time being the Atlantean and Lemurian civilizations coming online to one's uh, highest form one's most sovereign form let's call it again walking one's mastery because you're making your decisions you're living your reality 24 7 purely from your interplay with life making decisions that are not knee-jerk responses to how you've been programmed or the society you've lived in or the way you've been brought up and reality responding to you accordingly this is a state of unified or union consciousness the merge of all of those things in a state of completion unified which brings you onto the unified grid or web of consciousness where instead of tapping into several codes you're tapping into infinite countless codes to expand your experience or experiences expand your reality expand your world expand your consciousness this divine right if you like or birthright it is it all of our birthright but through the generations for many reasons and some of those reasons being malevolent for sure some of them being accidental and benevolent there has been over a long period of years a derailing if you like of human free will and consciousness And part of that derailing has steered humanity a lot of the time deliberately away from standing in their mastery. Because when one stands in one's mastery, again, instead of seeing 90 degree view, you see the 365 degree view. So we know what we are at heart, not even can be, that's what we are at heart. That's what we are walking our way back to remembering. The opposite to that is a distortion on reality a distortion on consciousness and a separation consciousness that's separate from it's like your own brain being separate from your own heart your own heart being separate from your own body your essence consciousness your spiritual consciousness your soul there being a mindset that all that is separate instead of all being amalgamated as you and that separation consciousness is something that is 
hugely propagated within the world that we live in. And I can particularly comment on the Western world because that's where I live. And the, the separation consciousness keeps someone that is on a fast track towards their mastery, a fast track towards their living their life through their heart frequency. The separation programming the separation consciousness out there, the separation archetypes out there, the separation programming and belief systems keeps one out of one's infinite power and mastery. Because as the word implies, if you are only of the belief system or feeling or perception or realization if of you of being only 90% of what you truly are and you don't have the realization that you're 360 degrees really only and you're only you're only perceiving 90 degrees you haven't come online in yourself to those in our grids of consciousness to know that you're the 360 degrees so you're not using it there's so much untapped coding in your DNA there's so much untapped coding in your consciousness there's so much untapped life force unlived reality unlived life within your inner coding that you, you wouldn't realize was there. So there are archetypal consciousness, I'm going to call them clouds of consciousness out there. There are programs out there, separation programs out there. There are infinite ways that one can be encouraged intentionally and non-intentionally to almost view themselves, part of themselves, as separate from other parts of themselves, certainly as separate from the world, separate from others. And if we go back to what I said at the beginning, is that we are transmitters of frequency, receivers of frequency, and transformers of frequency. To a certain degree, you can only transmit, transform and receive what you are aligned with. And if you are entangled with belief systems, programming um, and gone on to a particular tra trajectory, you are transmitting and receiving on that particular tra trajectory. Now, I'm going to give a classic example of this here, and I, I steer well clear of things like politics, not because I don't have strong opinions on things like that, not because I am not able to feel and see where these things are coming from, but because it's such an inflammatory subject and people have such strong brainwashing or programming or belief systems around it and they will only see what they are aligned with seeing. But I'm gonna use this an example of that on what's happening in the United Kingdom at the moment to demonstrate perfectly what I'm saying about a unified, complete state of consciousness where one sees from a 360 degree perception and an inclusive perception and then a separation perception uh, so, for example, in the United Kingdom at the moment, you may be aware that there has been going on now for something like, I think it's about two and a half years, it might have been longer, it seems longer, where there was a vote in this country two and a half years ago, it could have been longer, it seems much longer than that to me, it's gone on and on. A vote was put out there by that the reigning government uh, for whether the British people wish to 
have more control over the finances in this country, that just being one of the things, and wanted to take that out of the hands of a European government or council so that the people in Britain could make those decisions for themselves. That vote wasn't based on a playground mentality, like, I don't want to be your friend anymore, like one child saying it to someone else in the playground. It was based on a higher percentage than a lower one. That's what a vote is, a higher percentage. It goes with that higher percentage that that the vote, if you believe in the legitimacy of voting, I mean, that's a, that's a whole different subject in itself. But if you go along with that, you'll go along with the most votes is the one that gets in. So there was a legal in law vote put to the people and the people voted that they wanted to take control of their own sovereignty and of their own laws in their own country and it wasn't um, a vote. So it was a vote that was not made in separation. This is, this is why I'm using it as an example, because it's been put out there in the media for a long time, a lot of brainwashing there, that it was like a playground mentality, that the United Kingdom sticking their fingers up and saying, we want nothing to do with Europeans. We don't like Europeans. We don't want Europeans in our country. We don't want to go to them. And it was um, actually they went even further and said it was to do with racism and et cetera, et cetera. And that really actually nothing could be further from the truth, actually, on the purity side of it. Um, and in that vote, uh, and why I'm using it in the separation and unification is separation consciousness programming has been used for a political agenda here to make the statement that the majority of the British people that voted to make their own laws, govern their own country, but still, of course, always be friends with and part of Europe, were accused of separation consciousness, wanting to be separate, wanting to be apart from Europe, racist. So you've got extreme examples of separation consciousness programming and belief systems encouraged by a higher agenda and the media put out there when in fact the decision made by the majority of the British people that made that vote about two and a half years ago, whatever it was, was nothing to do with that and being separate. It was wanting to stand in one's sovereignty and govern one's own country and not allow something like the European uh, Union to control one's laws and make decisions that the average person on the street didn't know were made, made every day. So you have a separation consciousness programming hugely being misused, malevolently misused there to set factions of one part of the British people against factions of the other parts of the British people and that is all being done intentionally when really the overall picture is nothing like that that is being painted and actually in the United Kingdom at the moment it is an absolute farce actually what has gone on because something that actually took place as a legal vote in law, you know, they're doing everything they can in the United Kingdom to not abide by that law and to try and bend and twist and distort their way out of it. And they, what they're doing is they're setting one faction of the British people against the other, those that voted to stand in their sovereignty and those that didn't hear 
that coding of perception and our other perception, largely brainwashed and programmed perception of this means we're not wanting to be friends with Europe. This means this, this means this, this means this, this means racism and it's none of those things. So this is not a video about my actual or personal opinion on that whatsoever. But as someone coming from a unified state of consciousness, I can see the 360 degree view. And I can see the misery and the separation consciousness that has been triggered within the British people over that particular thing deliberately because had it been acted upon just weeks, months, or even a year after that vote took place, things would not be as, as extreme as they are now. So that's a, a classic example of a huge knee-jerk, panicked response by a chunk of the United Kingdom of a distorted separation consciousness agenda. And it's inverted actually, because those that voted to take control of the sovereignty and make their own laws in their own country, but still trade with Europe, still trade with the rest of the world, still be friends if you like, and accept Europe, are actually those that are trying to express sovereignty and a unified perception and those that are coming from the other angle are not seeing it that way at all but seeing it as as that is a separation that's a separation and it's, it's a complete inversion. It's the other way round. It's completely the other way round. But you can never tell or help someone to understand that's coming from separation consciousness that they're even in separation consciousness. So again, I usually stay clear of this kind of thing. It's a very inflammatory subject. It's very obvious for me to see what's going on. Um, it's also very frustrating because when you're going through a process like this, again, you can't make people see something that they're not able to see. Um, it's just, that's just how it is. You can't. And uh, it was interesting. I'll share a, a true story with you on that same subject. Uh, one of my sons uh, was traveling somewhere the other week and he had to get into a taxi with his girlfriend and the taxi driver was driving them somewhere for a trip out and this taxi driver noticed that they were a younger generation and he immediately didn't want to have a discussion with them he tried to provoke an argument with them he, he looked at them saw they were younger and assumed on that same subject of um, not being part of being governed by Europe anymore. He tried to provoke a fight um, with my son and his girlfriend. He, he just said um, very aggressively, so what did you two vote then? And, I, and, you know, I bet I can guess what you voted then, just completely out of left field. And so my son, um, being my son, didn't want to go there and thought, well, I'm not getting involved in this. It's clear this man wants to vent a lot of stuff and have a bit of a, a punch up metaphorically. So I'm not going there. And uh, he managed to sort of, let's say, placate him and not play the game. And in the way, it, the man wouldn't take no for an answer. And in the end, you know, my, my son, this is one of my sons, I have two sons, said, look, I don't want to get into this, you know, can we can we just get from A to B? I'm not going to get into politics, um, you know, on this cab journey. So that's a classic example of what I'm saying here. It's pitting um, older generations against younger, um, some factions of younger against younger, different parts of the country, 
against other parts of the country. But what actually it all is, when you take all of that away, it's belief systems, programming, distortion, misconception, perception, brainwashing, and the encouragement, the malevolent encouragement to try and separate bits of society off, bits of people off from other bits of people, bits of people off from family, people off from the unified, unified unification of their own sovereignty and mastery. It's separation consciousness all over it and it's inverted. So, again, if I go back to what I said in the beginning, we are in a world of sound and frequency and vibration and transmission. We are transmitters by our very nature, transmitters of energy. We are transformers of energy. We are receivers of energy. In the vast cosmic soup of sound and frequency and vibration, we are all of these things. We are also decoding it. We're decoding it on every single level. And what we are receiving, transmitting and transforming is vastly affected by everything that I've just mentioned, our programming, our belief systems, our cultures, our upbringings, the way we were educated. Um, I can't even say, yes, it is affected by where we are in the world, but the entire world is affected. Uh, pretty much, I was going to say the entire world, bar one or two remote tribes, never having had anything to do with any of the rest of the world, um, if there are any tribes, such tribes left. They would have their own ancestral codes and ancestral coding, which will be having an effect on their everyday reality. But there won't be the bombardment of the other stuff coming in around that as well, because, of course, there is the ancestral frequencies and consciousness as well that we align with. So I'm not going to go um, too much further on this because the video is going on too long and I could speak about this. It seems to me um, it might be two or three videos I bring out along the lines of transmission and decoding and things because it was something that came, well, it's been bubbling away in the, the background for years, but it's something that came strongly about three or four days ago and I keep getting, let's say, signs or validations to keep running with this particular thread. And it's something I feel very passionate about because our, our consciousness, again, is everything. It's everything. It affects everything. Our quality of life, health, experience, reality, absolutely everything. Sovereignty, you know, ascending, coming into that highest consciousness of who we are in the heart. It affects everything. But so I hope, you know, just in summary there that you get where I'm going with this. So... You could say to me, how does one get into a unified state of consciousness? Well, it's it's step by step clearing one's stuff as it comes up, step by step shifting one's perception as one's going along, um, expanding one's horizons, expanding one's consciousness as one goes along, step by step getting into the elevations of the heart consciousness where your perceptions and realities um are you know where your rungs your rungs of consciousness are unified that's that the whole access to all of the coding um all of the the aspects of who you are coming online to yourself all at the same time i really hope i'm explaining this clearly it's sometimes i i just go with it sometimes it, it suddenly hits me I hope I'm explaining that clearly because I know exactly what I mean and I'm having to decode what I mean in a way that's completely understandable. It's a strange thing knowing something and you, and you knowing it, but then coming from that knowing it to trying to explain it, almost like decoding it to explain it. So... 
I'm hoping again that not just by this talking on the video here, but the frequency and the transmission, hence it being called a unified energy frequency transmission, is going to hit the spot, so to speak, because that's where I'm coming from on here, not from a separation programming or consciousness. So hopefully those people that are watching this video will kind of pick up on the frequency of it and where it's coming from and not be uh, triggered, you know, in that knee-jerk response. And again, you know, that's not my responsibility. Again, most people that watch my videos, there's not that many nowadays that have an instant strong reaction to things I say. Uh, not so much nowadays, they're either not attracted to my channel uh, because of where it's coming from, um, or they are and they can sit with something and even if they don't agree with it on a personality level, it doesn't kind of send them into kind of a tailspin and make them all hot and bothered under the collar. Well, hopefully not anyway, not in, a, not in that way anyway. Anyway, on that note, I'll love you and leave you. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. For those of you that are kind enough and take the time and trouble to donate, thank you so much. Um, thank you very much indeed. Uh, look after yourselves, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.